have a girl crush on her. She totally put you in your place. A girl crush? You're Professor Freeman? Hold on, let me get a visual here. Oh, you're aggressive. Oh. <laughs> you're disgusting. <laughs> um, oh, which reminds me, your house better be clean for the KT ZBZ mixers this Friday. I just wonder if ZBZ sister's worried about being dirty. Mm. <laughs> Hi, you Max. Mm. He's in my women's studies class. Oh, uh, that's an interesting area for you to study. Well, I love studying women. <laughs> that's guy. So, Max, how's your beaker? My, uh, well, I'm working with a cement compound now. So, 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 uh, what? Well, we don't use beakers. Um, not enough tinsel string. Yeah, me too. I am so gonna be late for my class. Weren't you going to walk me? <laughs> Bye. See ya. I'm sorry, did you just call me a douche? What's that? You just called me a douche. <laughs> what? I don't... No, okay. Last time I saw you, you said it then, too. I'm sure he did it, Max. No, uh, no, he did. I'm not really sure I like what you're inferring, implying. Exactly. Hello, late for class. Education's important. We're the future. Uh, like, we should go. Never mind. case they don't have a chance maybe i'll even take you up on your offer spooning studying Are you free later today for actually studying where we actually study gobblers two o'clock drinking and studying yes that i can do a kiss goodbye always tugs at the hard strings you are leaving aren't you uh no what are you doing here um, I was invited by Casey to study and drink. Okay, so I invited you both. So you two could talk and resolve the conflict between you two. You set this up? That is spectacularly lame. Maybe, but you can't shake hands with a clenched fist. Indira Gandhi said that. That was not in our reading. It was in my horoscope in the Washington Post. Never mind. The point is, you guys could be friends, and that's never gonna happen unless you guys talk. Cappy, why don't you talk about whatever your problem is with Max? Let's just get it out in the open. I don't have a problem with Max. Cappy. I don't. Max, how about your feelings about Cappy? <laughs> I'm fine with my feelings about Cappy. Come on. The longer we avoid dealing with this, the worse it's going to get. Oh. I should get back. Yeah. Good luck paving that driveway. Yeah, good luck with your extensive jewelry collection. You know, the next time you want to study, buddy, why don't you just ask that frowny girl with the overbite? Greek at a Greek mixer? Not in my backyard. Sorry, Case. Kathy. No, you know how persnickety the interfraternity council can be. You don't because you're not Greek. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Max. Excuse us. Well, I'll be right back for you. Screw the rules, Cap, including the one that says you and Max can't get along. Good God, woman. Are you on repeat with this? Listen to me. You are my friend, and I care about you. But Max is my boyfriend. If things keep going this way, and if I have to choose between you and my boyfriend, then I'm sorry, Cappy, but I'm going to end up choosing him. What, did he give you an ultimatum, just like Evan? No, he didn't. But I'm giving you one. If you care at all about our friendship, you'll figure out a way to make this work. Please. Based on lectures, readings, and class discussion. Five short essay questions. What? Define short. Three long essay questions. Define long. 200 multiple choice questions. How is that possible? I haven't even learned that many answers. Well, maybe if you'd spent more class time on women's studies and less time studying the women, you might have learned more. Ha ha ha. I learned plenty. Mm. Just maybe not as much as I should have to pass this test. Well, I'm not feeling all that confident either. <sighs>
I love this class, and I really want to kick ass in the midterm. Well, come on, let's pull an all-nighter. Like the good old days, your place or mine. Um, I don't know. An all-nighter, Max is out of town. I'm not sure it's appropriate. And if Max were in town, it'd be different. It's just studying. Yeah. Hey, Kathy. You two know each other from class, right? Casey, Delia, Delia, Casey. Hey. <laughs> so I'm getting some people together to study at the espresso farm tonight. Fantastic. You want to come? Sounds like a plan. Oh, and Casey will join us, <laughs> if that's appropriate. Oh. Good. Great. The more the merrier. Oh, and uh, don't forget to bring your smarty smartness. <laughs> okay, we have 12 hours and 17 minutes to cram. I'm setting my watch now. You might need a lot more time than that, my friend. For women's studies? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've already seen Aaron Brockovich. I'm halfway there. <laughs> so what's up with you and that girl, Delia? How come you didn't tell me about her? Why? Are you jealous? No. Not jealous, just curious. Mm. <laughs> We're friends, Cap. You can tell me when you're dating someone new. I mean, I talk about Max with you all the time. Oh, I know. Although I must say, absence really does make the heart grow fonder. Oh. I really like that guy a lot better now that he's gone. You really want to know about every girl that I hook up with? Well, not in a braggy, high-fiving, macho, frat guy kind of way. Just in a general, FYI, hey, this is my life kind of way. Okay, well, Delia and I are just hanging out. Completely casual. Mm -hmm. Is that... Did Max Lavalier you? He did. Why are you jealous? Just curious. <laughs> well, now that that's all out of the way, let's uh, focus on the test. Oh, we have exactly 12 hours and... Uh-oh. Is there a problem? Do you see the girl that Delia's walking up with? Yeah, she's in our class too, right? And coincidentally, she's also a girl that I hang out with. Both of them? You said you wanted to know. No. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you ready to study some women? That's welcome. All right.